So some quick thoughts here. Um, my first time dealing with uh, power line networking and just general concept wise um, I figured it would have some severe limitations. Um, you're essentially putting a noise wave, a controlled wave of noise on on the power line and using the 60 hertz cycle of power as a carrier wave. Um, so concept wise that's not uh, too foreign of a concept. Uh, I'm not an electrical engineer so it's not anything I've worked with directly but as far as uh, you know basic uh, some of the basic uh, pre-electrical engineering classes as a concept something that's covered uh, as a technique that has been used uh, pretty successfully in multiple applications uh, but that also um, it depends on the quality of the circuit uh, and any other noise that might be on there that might walk over this signal that you're you know any any additional noise that might walk over the noise you're trying to introduce and control. So this kit is actually you know fairly inexpensive, uh, one of the higher rated ones. It's got a single wired port on each side, no Wi-Fi in it. I've got one of them tucked back there and I know my my equipment rack here is quite a mess. We're running just a standard Ethernet cable uh, to a 1 gig switch. Uh, it is a Cat 5e cable, uh, and I've identified the breaker that's on. And if I use their speed test app, it's really just giving you uh, link status, uh, and we can see there from the orange LED that that's a an okay signal quality right now. Um, if I came over here, tuck back behind here is actually on the same circuit breaker, probably on the same run of wire you know, going through the wall there. Uh, I've got around 860 uh, megabit link speed, which is really pretty respectable. However, anywhere else in the house, this outlet over here is on a separate breaker, and even though we're just, you know, 15 feet away. Uh, about 200 megabit. So anywhere in the house, I got between 100 and 200 megabit, uh, except on that same run of wire. It didn't seem to matter if I went on the same phase, a uh, different breaker on the same phase, or obviously different breaker on the alternate phase. Uh, it really didn't seem to matter. My real challenge and what I was looking for is some way to get networking out there to the shop. Uh, it's too long of a run for Wi-Fi unless I do something fancy, uh, you know, such as hanging something here outside and something outside there. Uh, through regular wireless, uh, you know, I've got some reception inside the shop, but we're talking about through a brick wall and into a metal building. Uh, wireless just was very unreliable. So out here at the shop, I've got the other side of this setup, uh, Ethernet cable out to another wireless router and pass through power through that pass through outlet um, which you know the people have said this can induce noise uh, from you know any power adapters or devices connected here however uh, testing it without and any other outlets in the shop results were about the same uh, so not seeing any difference there this is not my main source of uh, interference uh, or noise on the line apparently uh, but anyway, this in place here, powering the router, uh, because this design does block both outlets. Even if I plug it into the top here, or the bottom of it here, the plug's basically right there. This hangs down and blocks the bottom, so no difference where you put it. Uh, coming out here, another router. This is actually the exact same model. It's an Asus R12 something uh, wireless in device. Uh, the same model as what's inside, and this one's in uh, access point mode. So really just a dumb repeater uh, for the one that's in the house. I now have the fluorescent lights on in the shop with those uh, noisy ballasts that I suspect are creating some noise. And we're showing 73 megabit a second. Okay, bright light warning, uh, but I'll be quiet for a minute. Let's see if you can hear that ballast humming. And I think I've actually got a couple of them in here humming pretty bad. Uh, so I really thought that that was a lot of the noise on the line, on the electrical line, that was causing problems, uh, you know, dropping the uh, signal rate. Uh, but again, even with everything off out here, I'm not seeing much change, uh, you know, maybe a little 
Um, so I've got to have other devices, either that or there's just noise on. Uh, you know, the power grid itself where I'm at here, uh, very possible from the neighbors or from the long run. We are in a neighborhood, but we're right at the edge of town, essentially bordering on being in the country. So, uh, you know, we very well could have noisy power out here. If we look at it here, uh, it's certainly enough bandwidth to run some IP security cameras out to the shop. So this is one sitting out in the shop. Uh, there's certainly plenty of bandwidth to spare. Uh, we can do other things out there. Um, you know, I can browse the internet. I've actually been able to watch live TV from the MB server. So then I've got sufficient bandwidth to watch live TV from the MB server uh, that's there in the rack. Let's see, what's something that... Uh, Gunsmoke, nobody's going to complain too much about that being on a YouTube video. I'm sure if I try to free play any of the ball games from the other day, I'll probably get a uh, copyright warning. Alright, so there we go. So we have a laptop here going to the wireless router uh, that is uh, wireless in. And it's in repeater mode, then running wired to the house through that uh, power line adapter. Power line adapter runs to the switch in the house, and the switch runs to the MB server uh, that is a VM on a white box ESX build. So again, not as much bandwidth as I had hoped, but definitely plenty to do what I need to do. I can be out here in the shop, I can watch live broadcast TV uh, on the MB server. Uh, security cameras work out here. It's a reliable enough, consistent enough signal as opposed to Wi-Fi uh, trying to come all the way from the house that I don't have to worry about it dropping out. It again, just limitations of it, you know, uh, I really think the manufacturers ought to be a little more upfront about, hey, just because theoretically in the lab this can achieve this throughput, this speed, you're probably not going to see that in a real world environment. Uh, and again, this is what I'm seeing here. It's enough to get me by and it fulfills the basic requirement, but nothing more. So, anyway, I hope this helps if you're considering it uh, in a tough to reach place. It's worth, it's worth a look, uh, but don't be too disappointed uh, if your speed is really not all that great.